Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example of how to use logarithmic equations and exponential equations to solve a problem like this. So this is what we first, we look at that and say, okay, that's an exponential equation because it has the x the variable in the exponent. And the tendency, the, 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 the natural tendency is to go ahead and take the natural log of both sides so we can isolate the x. But here we have to be careful. Because we have e to the 2 uh, e raised to the 2 minus 5x exponent is multiplied times 6, we first have to isolate this portion of the equation before we take the natural log of both sides, which means we have to first divide both sides by the coefficient here, the 6. So when we do that, we get e to the 2 minus 5x power is equal to 5 divided by 6. And now we can go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. So now when we take the natural log of the left side, we get the natural log of e to the 2 minus 5x is equal to the natural log of the quantity 5 divided by 6. So now, of course, the rule says if we take the natural log of e to raise to some exponent, we get the exponent back. And that means we have 2 minus 5x is equal to the natural log of 5 divided by 6. Now we solve this for x, so we subtract 2 from both sides. We get minus 5x is equal to the natural log of 5 over 6 minus 2. We get rid of the negative sign by multiplying both sides by a negative 1, so we get 5x is equal to 2 minus the natural log of 5 over 6. And now we can divide both sides by 5, so x is equal to 2 minus the natural log of 5 over 6 divided by 5. And now we just need a calculator to find out what that is equal to. So we take uh, 5 divided by 6, take the natural log of that, which would be a negative number. We subtract that from 2, so that becomes positive, plus 2, and then we divide that by 5. And the answer then is that x is approximately equal to 0.436. And again, approximately because it's, of course, a never-ending decimal. We don't have the exact value, but the three decimal places, that would be the value for x. And that's how we do that.